Assalamu alaikum and welcome to today's maths lesson. Today's lesson title is multiplying. And by today, by the end of today's lesson, you will be able to understand multiplication as repeated addition and as scaling. Come in fives and recall multiplication and division facts for the five table. Solve multiplication and division problems using repeated addition. I hope you all are ready for today's lesson. And let's get started with the key vocabulary. Come on, everyone, repeat after me. Multiplication. Multiplication. Times. Repeated. Addition. Count on. Numbers. Well done. Now let's count in two till 20. Remember, skip one, count one, right? So two, four, six, eight. Come on, louder. 10, amazing. 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. Well done. Big clap hands. Amazing job. All right. Now, two numbers can be multiplied in any order. And the answer will be the same. For example, look at here. I have three rows of two hats, right? One, two, three. Three rows of two hats. And the total is what? Two, four, six, six, right? So the multiplication sentence is three times two equals two, six. Now let's rotate. Now in here, we have two rows of three hats, right? Two rows of three hats. And the total is two, four, six, the same. What about the multiplication sentence? We will rotate, right? We will swap the numbers. So here we will have two multiplied by three equals to six, excellent. So it doesn't matter if you swap the numbers around in multiplication, the answer will be the same. If we say two multiplied by three, or three multiplied by two. The answer in both cases is six. Now, come on, try in here. Look, look at this picture over here. Can you, you can see four rows of cactus, right? And in each row, you can see three cactus, right? Now we need to know the total. So we will, we need to count in, yes, threes, three, six, nine, 12. So the total is 12. To write it as multiplication sentence, yes, tell me, amazing. Three multiplied by four equals to 12. We have 12 cactus in all. Now let's rotate the numbers around. Here we have one excellent three rows, right? And in each row we have how many cactus? Amazing, four. So we have four, three rows of four cactus. And the total is what? 12, excellent. Now try to guess the multiplication sentence here. Amazing, three multiplied by four equals two. 12, the same, right? Amazing job, grade one. Please big clap hands for yourself. All right, now let's try this one. How many rows can you see in here? One, two. 
two rows of cowboys, right? And in each row, count how many cowboy, how many cowboys we have. One, two, three, four, five. So we have two rows of five cowboys. You need to count in fives to know the total. Five, ten. So the total is ten. Come on, try to guess the multiplication sentence here. Two rows, and in each row we have five cowboys. So the total is amazing. Two or oh, five times two equals to ten. Super amazing. Now let's swap the numbers and see. Now here we have five rows of two cowboys, right? And still here, the total is 10. Come on, let's check. We need to count in twos five times. Two, then, excellent. Uh-huh. Then, super amazing. And you see, now the total is the same, 10. So the multiplication sentence will be two times five equals to 10. Amazing job, well done. Now I want you to get your workbook number two and open page number 45 and answer the following by yourself. And now we've come to the end of today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next lesson, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.